Welcome to my YouTube channel. So finally the second update of this year Kali Linux 2021.2 is out, see what's new? So let's start. This is the login screen and here we get new login background updates. Now log in here with your credentials. So this is the Kali Linux default XFCE desktop environment. This edition brings enhancements to existing features and is available on the official Kali new website to be downloaded or upgraded if you have an existing Kali Linux installation. In the new release XFCE 4.16.2 is used and also the current default desktop environment has been updated and tweaked. So this is the Kali main menu bar. And here you can see the all tools with new icons. We get new changes in this version. We get changes in the quick launch tray in the top left. Dropping the screen recorder button. Adding a text editor shortcut. Adding in a web browser icon, which starts the default browser. Adding a drop down menu to select the user for default terminal or root terminal. Ka Boxer v1.0, introducing Kali Applications Boxer. Applications in containers. Kali Tweaks. This is the little helping hand for Kali users, with the idea to help customize Kali to our own personal taste quickly, simply, and the correct way. We get virtualization here as the last option. In the virtualization section, you can configure for virtual machine if you want to use virtual machines. Now the third option is shell and prompt. In this option, we can configure the shell and command prompt. Here you can see the default shell is Z shell. You can set bash as the default shell here if you want. Now the next option is network repositories. Here you can configure network repositories for app sources. And the first option is meta packages. Here you can install and remove groups of tools, which may not have been available while installing Kali, if you did not use the installer image. By default where you see the star sign these packages installed in your Kali Linux. Now you can open the normal terminal here. This is the XFCE tweak, in the quick launch tray adding a drop down menu to select the user for the default terminal or root terminal and Kali's default is Q terminal. You can open the XFCE's default file manager which is Thuner. If you right click in the main window, you should have a new option, open as root. So this is the default file manager open as root. Here you can do anything, because you have root privilege. In this release, we have new default login wallpaper and desktop background, but there are extras as well in this release. If you are using ZSH, with the latest Kali profile applied, you can toggle between the two-line prompt and one-line prompt by pressing Ctrl plus P at the same time. This will only have an effect on the current session. Kali Linux adds these tools in Kali's archive and network repositories. Cloud Brute, find a company infrastructure, files, and apps on the top cloud providers. Dir search, brute force directories and files in web servers. Ferox Buster, simple, fast, recursive content discovery. Gidra, reverse engineering framework. Paku, a WS exploitation framework. Parates, Kubernetes penetration. Quark Engine, Android malware scoring system. VS Code is also known as Visual Studio Code Open Source, code editor added in this release. Opening a listener on ports 1024 TCP UDP and below no longer requires super user access. Kali developer patched Kali's kernel to remove the restriction of requiring privilege permission in order to use TCP and UDP ports under 1024. And other updates also released in this update. Like Raspberry Pi images recharged. Kali Net Hunter support for Android 11. Now Docker supporting ARM64 and ARMv7. 
Kali is fully supported for Apple M1 users who have Parallels desktop. Wireshark permissions, command not found issues, and more accessibility features are all resolved. This is the XFCE Task Manager is a task manager and system monitoring program made with the XFCE desktop environment in mind. It has a simple list of running processes and two simple non-resizable graphics showing CPU and memory usage at the Windows top area. This is the system resource that is used by Kali Linux. Almost 800 MB RAM used by Kali and swap memory still zero. So that is it. This is the new update and features and new release of Kali Linux 2021.2. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel, so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.